So why doesn't the internet improve in the Philippines? Um, we get told it's got this fantastic race, it got all this blah blah blah. Big problem is corruption. Um, I've spoken to a few people related to different things. Construction for subdivisions and the same goes for running fiber optics and everything else. Every town you go to wants something or a lot of them do. So say you're going to the next town, the local barangay captain will want a fridge freezer, the local mayor will want a new air conditioning unit, etc, etc. So every time you step forward slowly, you have to negotiate with the local people. That's why you'll find that some internet is good in one area and some uh, dire. Because all these are separate negotiations that go on because there's so much corruption. Um, it's as simple as that and it's something that people don't talk about because everyone goes globes crap smarts crap blah 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 we blame all the internet companies it's all the big companies etc etc but what they never talk about is all this stuff that goes on in the background and the same goes for construction of subdivisions because trucks you, you probably see this yourself if you look for it delivering stuff in the middle of the night the reason they do that is they get hit with toll roads. Um, now, I don't know how many of them are actually legal, um, but say they're driving through a town, they'll get stopped, pay us 100 pesos, get to the next town, pay us some money. But at two o'clock in the morning, there's nobody there. So they just whiz through, do all the stuff during the night. That is the reality of things. Stuff that people don't even talk about. Um, I may not be aware that goes on. But that is why things are so slow. Um, and I do have a bit of sympathy in some ways for some of these companies. But on the other side of that, even in the big cities, they're not great with their internet connection. But bear in mind, the corruption is a major, major problem.